$1,000 buy-in big bet mix. Some No Limit Hold'em, some Pot Limit Omaha, and some No Limit Deuce to Seven. Jeff Platt alongside noted mix games expert mm. Brent Hanks. And Brent, yeah. sometimes you just need more than two cards. I mean, come on. We got PLO, Jeff. Mm -hmm. You know, the great game. And of course, how about a little No Limit Ooh. Deuce to Seven? You're going to get dealt five cards there. You get one draw to make the worst hand possible to win the pot. See? Expert. Mm -hmm. Expert. All right, that final table of the Big Bet Mix coming up in just a couple minutes. Let's take a look at our tournament format brought to you by PokerCoaching.com. So this one does feature a rotation of No Limit Hold'em, of Pot Limit Omaha, of No Limit Deuce to Seven. More than $163,000 up top in this one. 48 entries, and we are down, Brent, now to our final Table as we take a look at our Poker Go Tour leaderboard. It, of course, still finds mm. Ali Amshurovich's name on top of it. But we know that Sean Perry is on the board at the U.S. Poker Open, and he can add to his Poker Go Tour leaderboard points today. Yesterday, Jeff, we talked with Sean Perry before play started. He called his dad to learn how to play <laughs> single draw, deuce to seven. And his dad told him, don't even play. Don't even bother. And he hung up the phone, went back to the golf course, finished his round, showed up, and now he's got the chip lead in this sucker. By the way, no longer the ice cream man, Jeff. Oh. Commodus Perry, huh? Commodus Perry. You ever watch Gladiator? Oh. Ah. Oh, uh -huh. the villain that uh -huh. is yeah. one Sean Perry, perhaps. Now, Brent, nothing has come close, of course, to what No Limit Hold'em is, yet it feels like mixed games are becoming more popular. What say you? I think so, Jeff. What you're going to have happen here is folks are going to show up to play the No Limit, and all of a sudden they become interested in these other variants that are offered. PLO, sure, been there, done that. Big bet mix, let's give it a go. Let's give it a whirl. Excellent turnout. A lot of the No Limit guys came in, and of course... Here we go. A No Limit guy is the chip leader of this thing. Indeed. Event number five, a 10K No Limit Hold'em just getting underway. So, Brent, you know what that means. It's time for us to fire up some Daily oh, Fantasy. Oh, baby. A yeah. little super draft. And I will start mm -hmm. with my team. And I've got Sean Perry as my champ, hoping he could perhaps go back to back maybe in event number four and five. He's my champ. I get that multiplier bonus with him. Sam Saverell, Jared Jaffe, Daniel Negreanu, and Jake Schindler round out my team. All right. Well, I'm going to go with the Hutter Butter. Barry Hutter is my champion's flex pick. I've got Daniel Negreanu. He's due. He's poised. I got wheels. Chris Brewer going the distance, going for speed. How about El Jefe? Mm -hmm. And of course, Sammy Biscuits. Give me Sam Sabro, baby. Now, that's not necessarily locked in. Is that right? Not locked in, okay. Jeff. I'm glad you said that. You can change and edit your lineup all the way up until dinner break. Once that happens, it's going to be locked. So keep an eye on the live reporting just in case you want to add the chip leader mm. to your roster. All right, what do you say we get this final table going? Can Sean Perry win event number four of the 2021 U.S. Poker Open? Alina Jad and Brandon Shaq Harris on the call. Final table coverage starts right now. Hello and welcome to Poker Go's continuing coverage of the U.S. Poker Open 2021 edition. And if you like two card games, you probably like four card games. And if you like four card games, how about we throw a little five card in the mix as well. Some of each of those iterations represented here at the final table of event number four, the $10,000 Big Bet Mix. Ali Najad alongside Chicago's finest two-time World Series of Poker bracelet winner and good friend Brandon Shaq Harris, the oscillator. What's up, buddy? Uh, I knew you could come in here and, and do this yourself and it'd be an easy day. There was a point where I wanted, I thought about making an online video game, of online poker for masochists, where like you play the hand online and then the dealer like throws cards at your hand to try to kill it. Um, and that's pretty much my job today. You're going to try to kill my hand. I'm, I'm basically <laughs> here just to throw, throw things at you and uh, you're, we'll see if you you're survive. You're going to do a little better than that is my guess. And Brian Oaken comes in as the short stack in fifth. Alex Foxen. 30 years old. This guy is only 30 years old. He's a brick house. It's He's ridiculous. looking good right now. Sitting on a healthy stack. Max Coleman in the two hole there. 
Played we'll a little bit online with uh, Max lately. Okay, yeah. you'll have to tell us about it. Reardon in the four hole. Mr. Pink and of course Sean Perry exuding confidence. Says he didn't even know how to play No Limit Deuce before today. And the battle for the Gilded Eagle. And of course that $163,000 first place payout is about to get underway. The format, No Limit Hold'em, PLO and No Limit Deuce, 40 minute levels, 125K were the starting stacks. Two re-entries were permitted. We had 48 total entrants. And of course the time banks are in effect as always. We will begin with the button on Max Coleman. In No Limit Deuce, there is no limping. It is a one winner game. Straights and flushes count against you. Aces are high. Two rounds of betting. There's the pre-flop, or pre-draw rather. And then after that single draw, and I gotta tell you, Brandon, when I first heard of this game, I thought to myself, the biggest guts have to be the players that, that get into these streets here. In, in cash games in particular, I thought to myself, there, you gotta have the stones if you wanna sit down and play No Limit Deuce. Holy yeah, there's uh, not a lot of information that's available for everybody. You just you just kind of uh, play a mixture of the cards and the man. Um, and there's some I'm, real I'm blizzards on. that show up every now and again on the Doppler radar in No Limit Deuce. Snowing, as the term is, where you take information based on pairs or just rather a live read, potentially, and decide to go with a hand. Here is Max Coleman, who is flatting. I have the song, I'm the man. Yesterday? Second in chips behind Foxen to start, yeah, Perry third, reared in fourth, Oak in fifth. It's interesting in these um, the in these tournament settings to see the sizings that Catch everyone you. goes with. Also interesting because you know these guys are, are you don't know who's the specialist in what game. Um, a lot of PLO players kind of exposing themselves to single draw for the first time. Um, typically in a cash game, you're going to see something closer to like a 3.5x with their raising size. Um, in these tournaments, it's really common to see something closer to like a min or 2.5. And, 2 and look at this, a non-pat hand, by the way, Brandon, for John Reardon, who is risking his tournament life here against these two bigger stacks with the smooth eight draw, moving all in out of the big. And that certainly puts tremendous pressure on Foxen, who is just kind of leveraging his big stack. Hey, he's assumed correctly that Foxen is opening a little bit wide, uh, giving his chip stack. And um, now Coleman's, Coleman's got a spot. Be, uh, yeah, Coleman's flat should be a little weaker. 9-7 draw. He does have two fours for a, a skosh of info, but Reardon has a four in his hand and certainly isn't snowing. It's a, a big consideration is that, um, let's see, is that Reardon decided to make this play with Oaken being so short. So How much is it? That tends to give him no, a stronger six, range. Six, four, four, I feel like it feels dicey kind of calling with a 9-7 because you're not sure if your 10 is going to be good if you make it. Um, and you assume you just have like maybe 16 but not 20 outs. We assume, by the way, that Reardon is going to pat in front of us when we're making this call, right? Even though we know that's unlikely exactly. to be the case given he has an ace. Uh, yeah, exactly. So he's assuming with Oaken so short, uh, Coleman is is assuming with with Oaken so short that he wouldn't shove without something that's that's pat. Typically, you don't do your convertible stuff, which is when you have like maybe a seven draw and a made jack out of position as much. Um, it looks like Coleman is going to make the call here, and I think this is the right call. Six hundred and forty-five thousand. The pot was laying eight fifty-five and. Reardon promptly draws one, which will be a big relief to Coleman. Yeah, he's going to be very pleasantly surprised that, that this is a draw versus draw situation, absolutely. So we've got the spider select draw against the draw to the meaning right seven there. dust. Did they turn them up? The what? We've got spider's leg, uh, a spider's yeah. leg, yeah. backseat bingo. Oh my god, turn it up try, draw. put it on this. Yeah, so we're good? Yeah, turn it up. Three, four, five, eight. Dude, these people are gambling, dude. Best. Holy. Big hand. You're gambling. There's a lot of fucking money in there. So he gets <laughs> the first card. That was a good call by, by Coleman. <laughs> All right, I'll root for you, man. Face down. I had the 8 4 deuce in my hand. That's not yeah, good. 8 4 deuce? It doesn't matter, I guess. Yeah. 
we're going to find out if this hoodie is Who shows going to go in the fire pit you, after you this did. hand. <laughs> right. all is this a lucky hoodie? Is this not oh a lucky hoodie? Oh, it's looking wow. good. He Fix picked. He hit the tray tray. Wow. No, I can't win. A nine, giving him nine eight, and Coleman pairs a nine somehow. Dude, how do the short stacks keep doubling, man? That is a I'm lucky hoodie. I'm trying to win this thing, and short stacks keep doubling. You'll pink be one of pink them might two. be the color. I know. Holy. Mr. Dude. Pink, John Reardon, vaulting himself into second place. It's Pride I'm Month. Kinda, he dressed for the occasion. Little, man. There it is. Oh, I mean, you're shaking. You a little nervous there, or what? I was hoping I would win. <laughs> you a little nervous, or what? Reardon lives out in Florida where so much <laughs> poker I'll talent. I'll get more than two hands of TV time. <laughs> Why, well, yes, you also busted first hand? Or last time you made Final Taylor or something? No, but that was like No, this was the three. second hand of today. <laughs> that, the, my other one was like three years ago. I got like fourth. What are we playing, my, my best game? Deuce to seven. Had this not gone all in, Max wow, you for sure now? is the guy who's going to bluff his pair of nines. I so, not, I mean, he should be, but this is the guy. This is the guy who I'm expecting to see make some moves in PLO, make some moves with maybe some um, two-pair two combinations in this this kind of game, doing the, doing the snowing, as you uh, mentioned earlier. A little update on the Poker Go Tour leaderboard. Young Ali Amshirovich with over 1,500 points, courtesy of 13 caches, has over... Two million dollars in winnings. Sitting at the top, but there is Sean Perry in second with 1.6, and certainly a range of money available to him. Fifth place has locked up 38,400, but 163 up top. Should he improve upon that? Have you played much with any of these guys? Aside, we both know this, the gentleman in the middle, Mr. Brian Oaken. I've played some with Brian Oaken. Yeah. Um, Anyone else managed I've to I've played in the 80s next streets? to Sean Perry on multiple occasions. Okay. Uh, nothing with Fox and nothing with Coleman. And, I, you know, it's funny because I've been in the room with Reardon a bunch of times, but I don't think he and I have ever played together either. As we see Coleman open to 75,000 with the open-ended straight draw, certainly he would be content to take it down here and now. And these are the sorts of hands that in deuce to seven triple draw Dude, I Limit. have like, the nut hand. Are far less attractive. For PLO. Oh, it hurts Look the at fold. That. If you like PLO, it hurts the, hurts the fold, that kind of hand. Is that how it works? Max, oh, sorry, you were saying that, that's take the kind it of down. hand uh, in, in, in triple draw that what? Yeah, that, that you're going to be less inclined to, to go with. Yeah, you might be making some moves with it, for sure. Yeah. In, in, in this game, like, these open enders, or hose pipes, as we call them, uh, or or the gut shots, which is called a hole keep, in four. Keep an eye on your own stack, everybody. Um, <laughs> keep an eye on your own stack. They, yeah. they they still draw pretty. They still draw decently. The the thing is, you just Are you wind up having like a whammy kind of like a, a joker in the deck now, that will automatically kill your hand if you happen to make what do you got, the straight Alex? or pride parade, as they call uh, it for Pride Month. <laughs> um, your just hand is a basically lot. automatically dead. It loses to any pair. Right. Uh, you don't want to make a straight. So there's still decent drawing hands. It's just the, there's just that like oh, that uh, you guys. You got that, how much? that like one point eight ish. That Dude, little variable like where your yeah. whole hand can just like bust, I suppose, if you no, make if you make the price. Well, I mean that's what I'm saying. It's <laughs> nuts for him. Oaken's obviously a short of the Yeah, Brian's crushing. Tide is right, Oaken. Remember, <laughs> tide is right. I was happy to see that he call. Oaken doesn't have a stack to bluff, so I was in for you. You weren't for Which is his mo. So I went in all in one time. Poor guy. Tide is right, Oaken. Remember that. He's got to be feeling the pressure. He's got to be feeling suffocated. Well, the pay jump between fifth and fourth is 14,000 as a percentage of fifth place money, significant. Definitely gonna have to be doing something very soon. I have a button. Yes, um, what's the order of the games, Ali? Any idea what comes up next? I'm trying to figure out what Oaken's best spot might be. Well, but he fancies himself a PLO player, right? Yeah, and it's interesting, um, you know, do you wanna take a do you want to do you want to be able to go all in with your stack? Do you want to uh, do you want to be a, kind of in a better situation to gamble in a game like PLO where equities run pretty closely? You know, or do you want to take your chances here, where people are often drawing as well? It's fun to 
figure out the short stack considerations in, in these kind of mixes. 300. There are no split pot games, which is usually a nice consideration for a short stack. Okay, Foxen's uh, just going max pressure here. He does have a pat jack, and it's convertible should he deem it necessary, but really... Yeah, you're not going to be breaking down. You're not going to be breaking to down just to make a 10. Yep. And Call. certainly Call. out of position. He's going to have to be the one to make a decision first. Now that he's been called by Reardon, we presume that he'll be padding. This is where it's pretty helpful to have that kind of foxy image of uh, being a tough guy to bluff, a tough guy to pull the trigger versus being out of position with a hand this vulnerable. Oftentimes, in tournaments, well, let's see what let's see what happens here first before I go on my little spiel. This is a good sweat. Foxen has padded. Reardon draws one, making the nine eight. Pretty standard check out of Alex as he defers to the drawing hand, which he presumes to be fairly strong. In a cash game, you'd usually see closer to like a pot or over over bet. In these in these tournament situations, they tend to be on the smaller side. Um, they tend to like never expect folds from jack type hands. Uh, like these, the, the value bets just in general just aren't expecting folds from like, in, in the draw one versus one situations, not expecting folds from like jack type hands and they're just kind of targeted to get like pairs and and kings or aces to, to fold and just get value from a whole bunch of things. In this situation, Fox can definitely find a fold, but I, I'm assuming the bet sizing is gonna be on the smaller side, closer to like half pot. It looks like you went over pretty big. Bigger than I expected in, in like a tournament situation. Closer to a cash game kind of thing. I'm assuming. Oh no, it is smaller, okay. 120K right. into 660 is very so small. milky. Yeah, very small. I, I haven't looked, I don't know the chip denominations in these guys. I didn't expect the 120 more than I expected something like five something. Oh no, he did bet big. Okay, yeah, he it was a big one. Okay, so the purples are are the big ones. Time extension. I I like this sizing. I like making it look. Yeah, it was a, like a little that. bit suspect the sizing that we had up there originally, but it is indeed six hundred thousand. Just shy of full pot. Alex. This is an action final table to start. Pays off with a time bank. Brian, you love laying to see it, it down. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people in Fox and Spots oh will. Oh my goodness. In, in tournaments, will go for the. the Alex, you just play like that, man. You just stand pad and fold to a bet. <laughs> Good to know. Sometimes. Good ship leader. Call it Kavod, man. So. You're a complete beast. So. In cash games, uh, I think I had the best hand. Well, before I, I go on that, I guess. I did, and then I did. When when you th <laughs> when, when you, you have flat your range and then hand. and then pat, which is something pat, you pat see more hand. in in these tournaments, uh, um, yeah, like, yeah, I guess because they're Jack. they're worried about chip <laughs> yeah. conservation, eight, 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 and you don't ace see king. at all. You guys want to play where we cash. tried the nut ace king? Let, let these guys talk. Sorry. I uh, mean, he can pair, right? He can pull, right <laughs> yeah, I figured he's probably gonna pair. So. I would have called, you know, I have, I'm the, I'm the kind of person that needs to believe it. We have yeah, shifted gears that. now to pot limit Omaha. In one pitch here. So to finish up the point, I guess, sometimes in single draw in tournaments, you'll see people uh, just call and pat. And if, if you're not like, if you're not doing this with your entire range, which you probably shouldn't be, or like something super strong, your range is, is uh, capped, they call it, where yeah, like you just can't have much better than a super bad 10 often, uh, and it's usually going to be a jack. So like, exploitable. You're, yeah, you're expecting people to kind of put a whole bunch of pressure on you because you've turned your hand face up. So the three bet, <laughs> the three bet me. when Fox and three bets out of position, which is really dangerous from a chip conservation perspective, 
um, is basically saying that like you you can have you feel comfortable um, with your hand enough to put, I in, wish that, put in more money that full house, full um, and house stay pat. The so so he's, he's, that made. he's uncapping his range in a way, yeah, yeah, but I still like your too. dealt pats I really wish it was on stream. are typically on like the rougher, full house for full the rougher house side of things. So um, looks much better for me than just calling it off. A drawing player nine, seven draw. is inclined to put a lot of pressure on that by d default. And I like Rudin, Rudin's bet. I think um, that's the right bet to, that, that, that's mm -hmm. the bet size that you would expect, I guess, um, bluffing at you. A lot of times we I expect like the this. pat hands to be tens and jacks in this game. A little tougher to be dealt the sevens and eights and the nines. Pot. We've got two pat hands now. <clears throat> well, we're playing PLO, so <laughs> nothing, nothing to draw to. Reardon, A775. Three diamonds. Perry is three betted to 270 with the kings. Foxen cleared with his two queens. Coleman lays down one of the kings that Perry would be hunting, as well as an ace, which Reardon would be hunting. And he elects not to continue with his holding. I'm getting in there. I had a pretty like big that. hand. These I hands breezed by, but it looked like there were some pretty big hands being folded. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of it has to do with Brian Oaken looming there with a 200K stack, right? Sure. King, no reason King, to take a bunch ten. of risks. Can you just hold? Yeah, yeah, yeah. These guys are all really deep, no though. Suits, man. And it doesn't seem like any of them would really care about either. like a smaller pay jump, either. Then I was probably really dead. <laughs> Sean Perry is not worried about any risk. He's got gambling in his blood. Played his very first poker tournament at the age of 10. It was a charity event. You were supposed to be 21 and up. His grandma said, let the kid play. And he ended up playing against her heads up. <laughs> got to the final table. If you beat grandma, that's messed up, man. <laughs> Pretty tough. Wait, he got heads up with grandma, right? Is that what you just said? I think, oh, well, was it his mom? I think it might have been his mom. Oh, okay. No, it was his mom, not his grandma. But his grandma, actually, was uh, also a player, if I'm not mistaken. How much is pot? Penny Levinson. Passed away in 2018, but she played high stakes seven card stud and hold them back in the Mirage in the early the 80s. Same. And you saw Perry there. dropped out of college, <laughs> Cal Poly, to pursue the dream and has really taken the city by storm. Feet, you know Another three bet from kings to aces for Sean. And it's going to look a little bit like he's getting frisky. This is a decent spot for Oaken if he thinks uh, Reardon will fold ever here. And just to oh kind of God, scoop up some yum dead yum money. No way. He's already got money in, in no the No way. Yum Yum's coming to play. Might be, a, you know, and there, he, he probably doesn't expect a whole. He probably expects, like, the at least three of his four cards to be closer to, closer to being on the live side. Well, every orbit is costing Brian Oaken 75000 in PLO. It was even more during Deuce, where the big blind Annie is actually one and a half times. I think it's a good spot to kind of roll the dice here. He needs some spins, only has 150 behind. You see the frustration. He's mulling Do it, it buddy. Got to gamble. No gamble, no future. His hearts are covered disastrously enough, but. Shout out to Hank Simplot. Oh. He decides to let it go, and now Reardon concedes yeah, Reardon yet again. So, yeah, that's, uh, yeah. Next time? Thought you about to show Yeah, it's hand. rough for Oaken to see Reardon fold after that. Let alone to see Perry show a 7-4. I'm trying to lock it up with the guy with three big blinds. <laughs> All right, needle game is in full effect. You know, Perry is just dripping with confidence, and... Even his mother, Mary, says it. He makes you believe in every word that he says. Calls him the golden child, an amazing kid. She's a little bit biased, of course. Moms are great. Grandma's also great. Penny is an awesome name. We got to bring Penny back. We need more pennies. Well, we didn't even touch on the fact that his dad, Ralph Perry, has been a long time poker professional and gambler. All right, I'll let you guys win one. I'm getting in there. 
I popped the chip leader twice. Oh my god. And there's a three big blind stack. <laughs> Not known Honey. for his humility. <laughs> Honey. Boxen's turn with the aces. What did you fold that hand? Oh, and then what did you fold that hand? Oh, this is brutal. I'm not sure if I should have called. Probably should have. What did you have? I had aces. True story. I had jack nine. We're going to take a flop here as Reardon defends his big. King nine six on the board. Bottom I two I had a, I think I for Reardon. The heart. Somewhat disastrous for the aces. But you do got an overlay for him. Yeah. And this sort of board is, texture is really like, bad for aces, probably, right? This isn't, it's not like that bad of a board texture for aces. Like it's just something that connects with a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. So you're proceeding with caution on a but lot of, you are getting two to one of your money. You know, and on, one on a lot of run Actually, The rainbow is nice. helpful. Yeah, yeah absolutely. There. Unfortunately, there's not a diamond out there for backdoor prospects. Sure. For Foxen. And how does Reardon want to handle this 100K bet? He's going to go with a flat. Yeah, I, I guess he's hoping um, he's hoping for a blank and hoping Foxen just keeps the pressure up. That's going to be wow. wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Disaster Case for Foxen. six hits the turn. Foxen is thinking gin. He also has the dry ace of hearts. You would usually see closer to like a, a third kind of size bet here. Uh, Mm, yeah, usually you see something closer to like a third on, on this texture. Uh, with their stack sizes, it might no, probably probably stay closer to that. Reardon with the full house. I wouldn't really like to see a check here. I'd like to see Foxen go like a third. Why 300? I don't know. It's interesting because he does have uh, the nut romance blocker. Um, <laughs> so that takes away some of the romance draws. Probably some. Uh, maybe Probably he's you. maybe yeah. he's balancing to try to Obviously. balancing his range to put pressure on they're, they're uh, a random king back at home in, oh, yeah. in the future. Yeah, like, okay, I have this. So when he does bomb these kind of textures. It looks more credible, but I don't know. I don't know. He's he's the genius 30-year-old, and I'm a washed-up 40, so. Well, he's certainly thinking at all times, and there is intention behind every single one of Alex Foxen's moves. Now, the flat 300 from Reardon has to be of some concern. We know now that he's got something brewing. At a bare minimum, we assume a combo draw of flush and straight related for him to make that kind of call on the turn. I don't That's know. It. It's like, yeah, Foxen's. You there's a reason. Oh the reason you call God, those you aces problems, so Ali. There's a reason you wow. call those aces problems. Pros, pro. Um, <laughs> that pros, pro, call dude, on the turn the is max. honestly really, really strong. Uh, Alex, how especially with Oaken being dude? small, especially with these stacks. It's like crazy. We just keep getting cheated. Pretty much. Perry chirping away here as Foxen takes the beat. He's grinning, you but you know. Jack probably hit on the river and you made a boat. Uh, I, wish I, I wish I had it. I think he bucked the winner. <laughs> Alex, a fierce competitor. Not going to be amused. That might have been a really nice spot for Reardon to go ahead and jam. Um, Speaking of really nice spots, Reardon has himself in the chip lead now as Foxen, coming in the chip leader, is slid down to fourth. Brian Oaken, hemorrhaging, has bled out to 135,000 at this point. I think Reardon unblocking a king, um, and also no, this guy's trying to and also uh, the roma really to romance my, draws. My money, man. Uh, you don't got enough of your the, own. The flush draw to hearts. Um, I think uh, check jamming that turn um, might be a nice move. 
out of position, I make in position, I think a call makes sense. Um, but just the the check behind on river. I mean, the check the check call out of position is so strong in the first place. Um, this is not something you're going to do really with with draws. Um, I think I'd like yeah. to see a call as reared in, in position a little bit more and maybe a check jam out of position more. Just miss so much right. value. I think Reardon wouldn't have minded Alex getting after that pot on the river, but I think right, Foxen's a little bit too sharp to presume that there's any need for him to bet. Best case scenario was some sort of huge combo draw for Reardon that didn't come in, and obviously yeah, just anything else we assume so the aces are no good. Meanwhile, especially when he sizes up so much. Trips in his hand for Sean Perry, and unsuited with that ace, he decides to defend against the reared and open in the small. He will have position on these queens, which are an overpair on the 10-9 tray rainbow board, but so are the kings. <coughs> Probably going to see, uh, let's see where we're at here. 175 into 280. Sean makes the call. Oh, Perry just call just defended, just defended the big. I see. Oh, he picks up tea time. Mean Trip Girls has queens. turned into tea time. All the inside baseball being brandished here <laughs> by Brandon, who's been playing copious amounts of PLO. If he can make another, if another, if another queen comes on the river, that is her Majesty. Four queens, okay. That is Her Majesty. We've got tea time right now. And Sean Perry actually holding sexual harassment. What is which, that? Which is uh, three kings. <laughs> <laughs> Four kings being WrestleMania, baby. Four kings are WrestleMania. Okay. Ah. Uh. Perry checks back on the turn, not taking the bait, but obviously Reardon wasn't simply trapping because that queen could very well have completed a straight. I would expect to see like a blo a blocker bet kind of size from Perry here. Maybe some kind of like 225 size bet. Get value from get value from a queen. Um, oh, it's interesting actually, because the board is paired and there are straights available, but he does block the straights. Maybe we'll go something really small, like 125. Oh, he checked. Oh no, rear inside of position. All right, I'm still getting used to this stuff. Two amateur hour over here, but two yellow chips. Two hundred twenty thousand. And four of the blue chips. Two hundred and twenty k total. That was a nice fold. Yeah, really nice fold. Obviously, with both players checking the turn, there's some decent percent of the time that Reardon is simply trying to and bluff and take the pot eight, down. Man. What does that mean? What's up? Jack eight something? Trip kings in my hand. Man, I have so much respect so for you guys in the hand. booth, like following this action in real time. I had trip kings. You, you don't go for it? <laughs> they don't want just to carry down value. What do you mean? What am I going to go I'm for? I'm loving it. Thanks for putting up with this, guys. Yeah. <laughs> it's a big hand. You'll get used to it. I have a fucking big hand. A pretty fortunate situation has reared in the Sun Runner here. Thus far, he is certainly dressed for the occasion. All the way up to almost two and a half million in his stack. Oh, okay. I mean, that's a fine fold, but I just feel bad. Oh, he's got the handcuffs on right now. That's brutal. Spins needed. It is nice to see the big blind Annie. Dude, oh my um, goodness. Coming into play for some PLO tournaments. Oh, can I wish you were out there, man? Hmm? I would Which unleash the beast. You would have pulled your dick out. I just play this hand like a complete sissy. I had the jack eight. You had jack eight? In the hand that you guys played. Double oh suited God. hearts and spades for Reardon. 
You said you had three kings. Mid so raises the button and takes it. Turn. Yeah, I mean. What's that? That's a smart play. There's no way. No way. Yeah. This might be your best game. I had ace, king, king, king. Min in an anti game and get. Oh, get that's a big hand. Going to fold the big for that. What do you mean? Dude, I wish you're so lucky the board pair on that fuck that river. <laughs> you, you took turn. That's what I'm saying. Are you talking you to me? River. Yeah. Oh. Then I could shove the river. I was definitely looking at the board pair. What? All right. You're this looking has got to be a broken. I mean, you just can't wait. I mean, I assume I was ahead on every street, but. All in. All right. Sure enough, ace Godspeed, queen six sir. deuce. Godspeed. Has drawn a line in the sand. How much? One hundred thirty-five thousand. Will Perry offer defense? All in. He does. Four sixty-five. From the button, rather than flat, he will look. Kingles. I get to dealt make this a table for two. Oh, and I indeed. called it. Kingles. Four hundred sixty-five was the three bet. No callers behind, and now Oaken finds himself that looks like in a, a very bad spot. God, that that is blocker is brutal. <laughs> now with my stack, I'm, I knew you had I'm something actually ridiculous. Oh. Fucking what? Yeah. With my stack, now I'm actually rooting for you. Oh, wow. Problems <laughs> and kingles. Problems Dude, I just never lose Hold up. Problems in reference to hold aces. Hold, hold up. Hold Obviously, that? I want you to survive. So, so I'm all in. I know, I know that much. Okay, and, okay. I don't know if I can say stuff. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not going to say this. Some uh, of the slang is bordering on inappropriate, yeah, 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 yeah. is my guess, yeah. Brandon. So we don't need to open up <laughs> right. the entire war chest. Yeah, no sweat. My Chicago friends yeah. know what the, what the ace deuce is. <laughs> Hoping for low cards and, and uh, romance. Yeah, draw. Top set. Three of hearts. Three of hearts. hearts. Three of hearts. Let's go. Sexual harassment flopped. <clears throat> you really do want the short stack to stay in, huh? Now he really. I don't, I don't need to. Uh, He's looking for a three of hearts. And wow. catch. Well, he does pick up oh, a little yeah, equity. Goodness. Oh, a jingle for the win. He's got a hose pipe. He's got a hose pipe oh, to the pride parade. He needs a jingle. <laughs> I thought it's a, a hole in four. A hole in four. Ali, you are such a pro. <laughs> Can't believe you called it a hose pipe. That is an open ender. Wow, I told you I'm rusty. All right, GGB. Good, good game, Brian. Red balloons, yeah. but well, well done. Every time, Red man. balloons, oh. indeed. Yeah, you know. Oaken. Why does he shove when he Wish we like could have seen him play some know, more. Like, he's a creative player. He's, he's, like he's fun to watch when he's got some chips. Game. But uh, no Dude, question about months, it. But he is eliminated in fifth place, leaving behind four others, taking home 38,400. Dot com, his nickname. Oaken? Why is that? I have no. F How much do you have? I, think, <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. I just I had to say it once. I don't know. How much do you? I have like 900. We're saying stuff in here. One, you? One. Next up, 52,800. Yeah. Eagle Bucks. Eight, you have about how much, Max? <laughs> Max, how much? The you overall have? winner. The U.S. Poker Solo Open. Tau. Solo Tau Bucks. Yeah, right. We'll receive oh. that Eagle Trophy. And there's a little overlay. My picture's going to well. look real good when I'm up here. It's not looking too good for you. $50,000. 80000 For being the overall tournament champion across all, right. all events. As we have transitioned to No Limit Hold'em, no explanations okay. required. Two-card game. Yeah. Look. Fox yeah, 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 well. 8-9 off. Attacking. He is now the short stack officially, but... With the blinds at 20 and 40, he does have some operating room. Doesn't ever look nervous. Doesn't ever look rattled, does he? Nah. Um, like, you wouldn't want to get into a staring competition with that 30-year-old Long Islander, would you? This is actually kind of a beautiful thing for me because I think I played together with him his first ever Big Bet mix. He was on my direct right. Uh, and I was watching him kind of navigate navigate single draw for the first time and, mm -hmm. and these kind of things. I think this was 2018. Um, and you could tell, I mean, you could, he'd never played these games, but you could tell he was extremely poker savvy. His poker sense was great. But And poker I sense will take you a, a long way, by the way, when, you know, bet sizing, things like that, when you're, 100%. you know, trying and to work stuff out. And paying a lot of attention and sort of, you know, monkey see, monkey do a little bit. Yeah, he was on his phone asking questions, like, after, after every hand. And, um, yeah, it was, I was kind of endeared to it in the first place. And also, like, you know, he, he is an intimidating guy, but um, sometimes his hands will shake. And sometimes my hands will shake if I don't, like, eat enough, and I'll be like, all right, 
I didn't eat enough. My hands are shaking. Don't read into it, guys. Like I'm good. <laughs> so I know it wasn't like it's probably not a nerves thing, but it's it was just it was like the entire aesthetic. Like he's new to the game. His hands were a little shaky, um, and I didn't think he was scared of anything. But like uh, it was just like in, I was endeared to it, and I love to see people take up new games. Like, I think it's a beautiful thing. Oh, you know me. I'm always ready to welcome people into the mixed game streets. Meanwhile. John Reardon has welcomed Sean Perry to a raised pot pre-flop with his queen jack. Perry defended, of course, with ace nine and on the two club 10 high board, Reardon C bets 200K into 330. I'm always curious to see what people do with their flush draw blockers. Oh, Binky on the turn for queen high as it turns into a pair of jacks. And hold them especially. Second barrel, 345 into 730. So this seems like it's just going to be a fold, but it would be interesting if if he bet closer to, like in the in the I two the club. in the 200k kind of range, um, to see if Perry would call and with with plans to do something if a club hits. Uh. I guess that's when it gets like really interesting for me. Well, it has certainly been the John Reardon show thus far in the early going. Yeah, Brandon. Pinkston, Dude, it is great. way more fun when you're winning pots in this game. <laughs> Can I get? Uh, just no limit. Two ice cream teas. Any of them. Plain. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. You have a lucky outfit. No. During COVID, man, I just really beefed up the comfort part of the closet. <laughs> I was like, listen, uh, drawstrings, elastic waistbands, stretchy pants. Nah, That's what it's good. all about. You got that now, young man. face and you got style, Eight. so can't tell. A stylish king queen for Max Coleman in Ray's open. Just so it doesn't go unsaid, those of you who might be seeking a glimpse into the conditions here inside the booth, I don't see any storm clouds overhead, but nonetheless, a full-size umbrella has been extended and is being donned by Brandon here. I don't believe that he has any sort of uh, skin conditions that would require him to insulate himself from these fluorescent overheads. Yeah, I just... I want to be cozy with my buddy Ali. <laughs> I don't know. You and me under then the umbrella. Should, we've, we've should been you away bring the umbrella long. closer? I guess so. I was <laughs> gonna go. It was gonna be a gradual thing, you know, <laughs> as we slip deeper into into uh, commentary. The verbiage, I guess, the obscure verbiage, and <laughs> as I get more comfortable seeing what position every player is in, <laughs> maybe I slide a little closer. I don't know. <laughs> Well, that'll make me more uncomfortable with you think? with our positions now. Oh, you're I'm gonna shulman me? Usually, shulman's like uh, Ali. Ali, what? Come right. on, what are we doing here? We and doing? I'm here to like, I'm not, I'm here to just, all right, Ali's doing it, and we're gonna we're gonna go down this rabbit hole. Let's, let's yeah, see but what that's happens. it's weird. I'm used to pushback, and you're I know, embracing you're putting the brakes on me. You just you're threatening me with brakes. <laughs> Perry, with a quick glance at the clock oh and the. Tournament information board. Kingle offset. tingle of romance of uh, kingle tingle of fortune. Fortune. Oh my goodness. That sounds like King Ten of Diamonds, okay. And what is Ace uh -huh. Queen of Spades, Brandon? We got a problem in a quizongle of yard work, actually. <laughs> the the Kingle of Spades is the Undertaker, which is why four <laughs> Kingles is WrestleMania. There's a there are bookends to these things. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. see the layers. As Foxen is ready to pile. Boy, that King-10 looked a lot better before Alex did that. Man. No hesitation for Sean. He knows exactly what he wants to do with that King-10. Can you guess what the problem of of, of fortune is called? Or what what card that is? This was a no, the, around for the me. problem of fortune, you know what <laughs> that is. That's the Ace of Diamonds. Of course. What, if the, okay, so the Kingle of Yard Work <laughs> is the Undertaker. <laughs> The Kingle of yard work is, is also known as the Undertaker. Okay, okay so, that's the King so of Spades. So the problem of fortune is any guess? Any guess what that could possibly call? Uh. The problem of fortune is the Ace of Diamonds. Yeah, but what what what's the specific name of this? 
What? <laughs> it's called a girl's best friend. <laughs> Shout out to Veronica Brill, who named it a girl's best friend, which was great. The and Ace of Diamonds is a girl's best friend? It's a girl's best friend. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, so yeah. there's all aliases now, oh, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, we're deep. We're deep in it. I got to tell you, during quarantine, Brandon would send me WhatsApp videos of himself narrating his PLO hands <laughs> in heavily cryptic <laughs> manner. And that's where a lot of this slang was created, although I did make the yeah. contribution of problems, I believe. Yeah, was my that was you. Problems is you. Uh, hole in four was, was the kid, Landon Tice. Most of this is, uh, I have a group chat called The Falsettos, which is Steve Albini. Uh, uh, shout out to, shout out to Steve, shout out to Andy Kaczynski, Eric Rodewig, uh, Chris Groman. What's Kyle like? Um, like and we'll give grapes, even though he's silent, um, some props. But Steve and I have gone deep in these, in, 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 in the, the verbiage streets. Dude, I'm a no and then we get some pressure. contributions here and there. We got props yeah, from Ali. We got no Veronica chiming in and, and Landon. We have returned to no limit, deuce no, to seven, asking. single draw. This is my, this is, oh my, this All game right, is so it's unfair. We've established the rules in this game. Do you, do you think now it's time to, do you think <laughs> the now Billy it, Baxter, the time has come? <laughs> To play a round of single draw like this? <laughs> what do you think, sir? You've been looking forward to that, that <laughs> moment. You know, it's funny. Th you talked about watching Alex Fox and <sighs> navigate Big Bet. There is the overlay, the trophy, the 50K. Most of the guys who are here want to uh, play as many big events as they can. Now. Every day they have uh, the opportunity to do so. They're not going to necessarily skip the Big Bet mix just because they aren't as familiar. And Sean Perry, a prime example, mm -hmm. claims to have not played any No Limit Do single draw until yesterday, one day one of this event, and told us prior to the onset of final they table play that most of the chips he won <laughs> all tournament long <laughs> came in No Limit Deuce, and he's been losing in, all, in the other games. Well, sir, I could hardly under, understand you, but I call shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> no shenanigans uh, here for Perry. Things, people say Seven things, more. you know. Eight draw mm -hmm. makes it a buck forty, and the jack nine draw can be broken down to a nine draw. For Foxen, is going to call the hundred k. I suspect he's going to keep this jingle right here, and Perry's going to go ahead and take the draw to uh, the spider's leg. Indeed, one and one. And just how big a dog is a jack nine draw against this eight draw? Well, I could answer that, but I'm curious to know if you know the answer, Ali. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Oh, wow, look at this. Perry has picked up a jack smoother than the one Foxen has made. You would see some a few leads here, but I, I suspect this is just going to go check, and then uh, Foxen might consider a thin value bet. Well, yeah, yeah, sure enough. Out of position check. Perry does check it, and that jack eight is going to turn into a bluff catcher in the event that Foxen thinks he can cobble a little bit of value. Maybe he'll put out like 75,000. What do you think? 340 out there, young man. Mm -hmm. Now you don't want to leave any meat on the ham bone. No. Although my wife did pick up some sandwiches. Oh, hell, I'm betting 75K. And he hasn't bet anything like yet. If you like a sandwich. How have I allowed you to drag me into this? You're not obligated to fire here, obviously, because you do open yourself up to the check raise. Mm -hmm. At Perry's depth, it would be a real issue. He might wind up checking back, feeling like he thought about this a little bit too long. That's something, too. Sure, if the hand were that good. Oh, no, he's going to go for it. Why did he take so long to bet it? 115, it looks like. Well, you know, they say a jack is a jack. Sometimes you value on yourself. You don't go broke with a jack, but a jack is a jack. Jack nine. Mm. 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 And jack eight promptly what rolled my over. My game is deuced to seven, baby. What I think slow roll. I'm inclined to say that. I think Fox and played that quite well. Dude, deuced to seven is my game. To be honest with you. I was Why thinking, do you play possibly, dude, and deuced to seven? Did you almost turn that into a bluff? Why do you <laughs> turn? Oh, oh, my God, dude. Oh, my goodness. Why are you playing possibly induced to seven? That's Alex, a good question. I don't know. Have I not? Have I not destroyed everyone in this Sorry. game? In this. I'll try and get 60, Andy. Yeah. You have. Are we seeing the makings of Tony G part two? Is that the the seeds that Sean Perry is planting here? In our Son, in our Georgia, if you talk like this, 
we tie you up to the car and we make you run after it. I'll tell you that. The one interesting thing about this is that it, the Foxen may have considered is Paul, that still Perry might, the might not be seven. familiar with the thresholds in this game, and so he might be checking a little bit stronger than you'd expect. Not necessarily worried about the check raise so much, but maybe worried that uh, he doesn't understand the value of his actual hand. Oh so he might God. be value betting a little bit thinner Cold. than he normally mm -hmm. otherwise that. would be against someone who's experienced in a game such player. as this. PLO holding that. there for Dude, wow. Perry. Wow. Dude, I get dealt ace, ace, queen, queen, ten. Mine was kind of close. It was a bit better than that, but. Ali is literally stalking this room right now. He is, he looks hungry. It looked like you want to play some single draw with, with this parry kid. I don't know. <laughs> well, I got to tell you, it is incredibly frustrating when you are playing in a game with someone who, you know, no trolling, no sandbagging, doesn't know the game, and then sun runs on you for orbit after orbit after orbit. Um, it'll get under your skin. It's, it's happened to me. Yeah, there was a young kid recently that jumped in to the 80 mixed streets. And for three straight days, I think he personally relieved me of like 10 or 12,000 in an 80 game. Personally. Just him versus me pots. Draw three, make a wheel. You know, draw two, make a six, uh, seven, six. And, you know, talk about how he's a natural born card player and all of this stuff, Chris. right? Young, brash, not unlike Sean Perry. But it was on that fourth night, Brandon, when the game began to break down and the young man had the opportunity to walk away from the heads up battle with Ali. Mm. As I Tennessee go to Ali referring as to myself known. Tennessee in the Ali. Third uh, person. Mm -hmm. uh, but he didn't do it. Nope. And we did claw back. You got that whole basket of bread back. We, huh? we got we got yeah, right. we got that. Got we that might have got some, some additional. With a brisket? We, 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 got, we might have got you some got additional brisket biscuits too? Oh, there you too. got a brisket, too. Woo! <laughs> yeah, well, unfortunately, they're going to have to wait another year for Sean Perry to come back to a single draw event, so that's the problem here. I don't know, man. He's the kind of guy that might go looking for him moving forward. Now, he does have a draw two situation on his hands here mm -hmm. with the deuce three, eight, eight. Tend to see this a bit more when your card's duplicated. You got a low, uh, you know, pertinent low card that's duplicated, and... Chip stacks are relatively even. And as much as Coleman will appreciate seeing Perry draw two behind him, it is still a weird spot to be in. I'm in there nice and tough. Mm -hmm. uh, Perry picked that up in the Doc Sands and Harrison game. Ooh, oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Draw two Spider's and number perfect. five. Spider's leg perfect. Unbelievable. And you can't blame Coleman for thinking this Jack-9 has some value to it. Perry's going to bet. Perry's going to bet, like. Well, we don't know whether or not he'll have the opportunity to be the better, and indeed oh he doesn't goodness. as Coleman. Leads out against the draw two. This is this is pretty standard. Sure. Firing the 150K. Against against the draw two, you put out, like, a small little bet trying to get any kind of value. Oh, Perry's going to make this really big now. I'm sorry, guys. You only got to put up with this for a few more hands. <laughs> <coughs> Shout out Billy Baxter. Is a horrific Billy Baxter. <laughs> I mean, he's more, a little more soft spoken, I think. I don't know. Got he's a dance. legend. 900. 900,000. He said, oh, hell, I'm all in. Now, the thing about the big bets in this particular game are they tend to center around very polarized ranges. The pairs, the big pairs in particular, and then the very nutted hands. The draw twos in particular. The draw twos, you're, you know, you're expected to kind of. You have. It's going to be way harder to make a hand like this. I mean, this is an outlier situation, quite frankly. You hate to see it if you're Max Coleman. This is the fifth best hand in a game where you have three draws usually, and it's so hard to make in that one. I mean, let alone to draw two to it and get there in single draw. And he's thinking right now, like, if I fold this hand and I'm wrong, can I listen to this young man talk to me? <laughs> I would lose my freaking mind. Ten seconds. 
he exhausted his time banks here. I think he's a, a good enough card player to where you might just make this, you might just lay it down. You, even though you, you realize that your opponent's capable of making a move like this, and you might have to listen to him talk uh, and be in, <laughs> insufferable <laughs> for a while afterwards. Um, I think you just, I think this is a decent spot to to fold and, and be a good poker player. Hello. Coleman has burned through four total time extensions here, Brandon. And he might need those later on. But you certainly would sooner burn through the extensions than he you wants would through the rest so of your bad. stack. You can see it. He's really on the, just on the brink. Oh, he wants to call so bad. Five of his six extensions torched in this one spot. Back to what Perry was saying, I guess, earlier about this being his first time playing. Like, just that's going on in Max's head for sure right now. Hmm. This will be the final 30 seconds. Dude, this is my game, man. Good fold. Deuce is my game. I didn't have that good of a hand. But. You didn't have that good of a hand. <laughs> I had the nuts. Two pair. What do you fold? What do you have? A pair. Huh? pair of deuces. He had a nine. A nine? How big? Any of these 50,000. Seven. No, nine, seven, yeah. Wow. Winner. <laughs> no, that was just a little bit. That's precise. You'll see it, dude. I had it. I had it. Or his other cards. For sure, Bluff. Oh. I had it. Uh, six, four, three. Nine, seven, six, four, three. Makes a great lay down. Huh? <laughs> you said you had nine, seven, six, four, three. No. He's just going to have to take it then. <laughs> 100,000. It's interesting when a 9-7 is effectively the same thing as um, what Coleman actually had in that spot when the bet's so big. Right. Like you basically have the same exact hand. Right. I mean, even like an 8-7-6. So Foxen's open to 100,000, yeah, defended draw, against we'll see. by Perry. And once Sean draws two in front of Alex, Alex chooses to draw one to the jack seven. Perry ends up with jack eight. Look at this. Foxen makes jack nine. And he's been in this spot in position against Sean once already where he was pipped. On that occasion, it was Foxen doing the betting. And on this one, it is Perry. So will Alex come with the call? Call would be pretty standard with Foxen's hand here, right? Um. Draw two yeah, leads draw two out. Versus draw one, absolutely. The size is like a bit milky, though. Pretty unconventional for the draw two to lead into the draw one, though, isn't it? Yeah, which is what I'm thinking, especially with uh, yeah. This this sizing like 
is pretty representative of his hand. But it could be a nice little, like, blended sizing with, uh, with you know, it's a, as a cheap bluff, I suppose. Maybe, like, if you hit one pair and maybe a couple two-pair stuff, like, that's that huge polarized size. Usually you just see a lot of polarized bets in these kind of spots. I, I would think it would be hard for Perry if this were his first time playing. It's hard for a lot of people to find a nice balanced range in, in these, awkward, like with multiple sizings or whatever in, in these kind of unconventional spots. Jack 8. Yeah, so Fox about from Perry. Chuckles yeah, as he makes the dude, call. Deuce is my game, man. Oh my god, I just went every pot and deuce to seven this whole tourney. Every pot, the whole tourney. Alex, why are you playing deuce with me, dude? You know not to play it. You know Fucking not to play magical. deuce with me, dude. I think you've made the wrong decision in every hand. <laughs> dude, <laughs> you know not to play it, man. Somehow. Uh, dude, I've won every pot and deuce to seven the whole tourney. Literally cannot lose. And people still want to play with me. What? And every time How people are like, yo, the last, uh, you made the wrong decision every time. But I just complete, I, dude, once again, I see the cars and I see the player, right? And I see through you. It's like, a, this game is like mind game, dude. Like that's you, just, what you, you saw that I had the jack nine? Dude, it's so <laughs> shredded, dude. Like so shredded, you have no idea. I just know you're checking back there, you know what I'm saying? It's just like. It's for sure not checking back there. He would have got value from Alex. Dude, this is Alex so good, dude. Oh.